Ah, uh, combative sports. There's so many. There's point sparring, mixed martial arts, boxing, kickboxing, many others. But like any organized sport, there are rules. Of course, for good reason. Even when you're training martial arts, you can't just destroy your partner, even if you are working a self-defense move. But when it comes down to being on the streets, much like our English language, there are no rules. So let's take a look today at moves that totally work in a real fight, but are illegal in matches. But martial arts can't defend against my AK-47. Yeah, well, martial arts can't defend against the atomic bomb either, but you don't see me dropping one of those every fight. For this list, I'm not including weapons. I'm strictly sticking to the human body. Sure, you can get all Jackie Chan and use random objects as weapons, but that's just not the point. Just, just let me make a video. Small disclaimer, I don't condone a violence, but if you need to, please use these moves to protect yourself and the ones you care about. Not to uh, beat up that one guy who bumped into you. The headbutt. Headbutts are pretty useful. What if you can't kick or punch? Well, you have a 10 pound bowling ball on your neck to uh, bash someone's nose in. Remember for a headbutt, use your forehead to hit someone's nose. Despite what you see in movies, if you do this, then nobody wins. This is a good move because it actually works really well due to people being fixated on being punched or kicked that they forget about the third party. At the same time, you can use your arms to grab while you do a headbutt. I'd avoid using more than three or four of these though because they hurt your head, you know, where your brain lives. Speaking of grabbing and headbutting, let's go on to number two, grabs. I think we all know the advantages of grabbing and hitting, but do we know the disadvantages? If you do the math, grabbing and hitting someone is much more tiring than just hitting. You might not feel it at first, but it does creep up on you, so be careful. Small tip, you can get a lot of power by grabbing someone by the shoulder, pulling them inward, and shooting your hips out with a knee strike. But how much power do you really need to hit someone in the crotch and make them hunch over? Like, minimal. So personally, I like to when I grab, I'd say have a heavy hand and grab with control and do not as powerful strikes versus super big strikes with a lot of power but not a lot of control. Now I know a lot of styles do allow grabbing during matches. The only thing illegal about this is that you can't grab places like the groin or the hair or the finger or something like that. But for self-defense, places you can grab include the shoulders, the ears for a headbutt, the hair, the neck to push them back, the fingers so you can finger lock, the mustache area to tilt the head, clothes, and the groin. Downward elbow. Definitely in UFC, you can't do any downward elbows to anyone's head or neck, but downward moves are super important. When faced with someone tackling you, a swift elbow or a hammer to their neck can stop them in their tracks. It might even knock them out. Just please don't break any necks. And there we go, that's downward elbow. Eye gouging. I think we all know why this one works. I just want to say, please don't use this unless your life is in actual danger. I don't care if the guy at the bar talks smack about your girlfriend, poking someone's eye will probably have permanent effects. Different techniques include grabbing the face with both hands and using your thumbs to gouge. Another one is the spear hand, where you clench your fingers tight together and poke. It has a longer range than your thumb, but is risky because, you know, what if you miss? Another one might be to get them off your stomach by wrapping your arm around them and pulling or pushing on their face as you insert a finger simultaneously in their eye. But like I said, life or death situation, please. Cupping the ear. So basically, if you take your palm and you smack it against someone's ear, it could create pressure in there that could rupture the eardrum. Uh, you can all see why this is illegal and why it's effective. Like I said before, please don't do this unless it's a life or death situation because ruptured eardrums have a lot of bad side effects. Fighting. Someone grabs you by the neck, you bite their hand, they let go. Uh, science facts, the human jaw can exert up to 150 pounds of pressure. Do I really have to go into why this one is effective? I'm just, I'm just gonna move on. Kicking the groin or hitting the throat, or really just targeting anywhere that's more sensitive in the first place. Hitting the groin, fun facts, it hurts for girls too. Being kicked anywhere hurts. For humans though, uh, our groin being our private area, it makes us react kind of like, Nyeh. like I said it earlier, when you hit someone there, go for control rather than power, because it doesn't take much. Another good place to hit is someone's throat. I got hit there while I was sparring one time, and like for like a full on three seconds, I was just like, oh, oh. And there we go. That's what I have as far as moves that work in a real fight, but are illegal in matches. Uh, just keep in mind, just because you know these moves doesn't mean you can necessarily defend yourself. But really, when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter what you know, as long as you have the instincts to uh, protect yourself. So really, train your instincts. 
thanks for watching guys if you want to see anything just feel free to leave any uh, recommendations in the uh, comments below I cover a variety of things from self-defense all the way to performance martial arts if you want to check me out on Instagram I'm here it's mostly just me and my friends doing some flips and kicks and stuff and a lot of fun things but uh, sometimes I post the uh, next uh, drawings that I'm gonna put for the uh, video um, my YouTube channel is here it's me and my friends just doing like you know maybe acting uh, I do storyboarding or directing or things like that but sometimes we do fight choreography which is you know cool because martial arts anyways this is Iman Rashid telling you guys be safe don't hurt anyone and happy training all right whenever you're ready just speak into it cupping the ear cupping the ear <laughs> cupping the okay. ear we what? must cup the ears, master. What's up, everybody? I'm cupping the ear, kid. We're cupping the ear. Ho -ho. Here to cup your ear. <laughs> I'm going to cup the, the f out of that ear. <laughs>